A massive new discovery transpired in Dark Souls speedrunning, a discovery which shakes up many different speedrunning categories but mainly completely obliterates the previous any percent route, shaving off 8 minutes from an already extremely short 30 minute speedrun. So what exactly happened that sent the Dark Souls speedrunning community into a frenzy and reinvigorated the any percent category with activity and competition? Let's take a look. There are many different tricks in speedrunning. Dark Souls is particularly well off in this regard, giving the speedrunners a large variety of options to explore and then exploit in their pursuit of the fastest possible completion. However, among the diverse selection of glitches in an even more diverse plethora of speedruns, there are a few that stand out, few that are recognized by many. The holy grails of speedrunning, if you will. One of them is the wrong warp. Let's begin by seeing what a wrong warp is. During a normal warp, the chosen undead uses a homeward bone or a dark sign or alternatively casts the homeward spell and is sent to the area of the last bonfire they rested at. With a wrong warp, the warping sequence is usually interrupted or interfered with in some way, resulting in the hero also being sent to the area of their last bonfire but to a different position within it. Wrong warping is used several times during the old bosses or 100% runs, but is primarily known from the any percent category where it allows the runners to bypass the closed gate leading to the kiln of the first flame, skipping obtaining all of the Lord Souls needed to open it. There have been several known ways of achieving the wrong warp in Dark Souls, which I might elaborate on in the future, but for the purpose of this video let's consider two of the major ones used in speedrunning. One is force quitting the game during the last frames of a loading screen after a warp, and the other is using the purple cow's crystal item obtained from the DLC and then warping to the last bonfire. The former is known as the force quit wrong warp and due to its obtrusive nature and implications it might have for abusing the in-game time mechanic, has been allowed only within special categories such as any percent force quit or least bosses. The latter is known as the PCC warp and since its discovery has been the dominant factor in the any percent speedrunning category. The entire run was essentially built around obtaining the Lord Vessel, opening the Firelink Altar to be able to rest at it, and then entering the DLC and getting the Purple Cow's Crystal as fast as possible in order to perform the Wrong Warp and kill Gwyn, finishing the run. This was a huge change from what is now known as Any% No Wrong Warp where the runner is required to collect all the necessary Lord Souls to open the kiln. The last Any% World Record for this route was 29 minutes and 54 seconds. In November 2020, another way to perform the wrong warp was discovered. This method is not as obtrusive as the four squid wrong warp and is also much quicker to perform compared to the PCC warp. It is known as the homeward wrong warp. In order to understand this newest addition to the list of wrong warps in Dark Souls and how it came to be, we first need to look at a different glitch called Spell Swap. Spell Swap allows the player to combine the animation of one spell with the effect of another spell. Two different methods of achieving the spell swap were known, the ledge method, which is otherwise used to PCC warp, and the stagger method, where you abuse queuing up actions as you get hit by an enemy. However, a Japanese runner TSU recently discovered a completely different method which is accessible absolutely anywhere. It requires the player to wield two spellcasting tools. This spell swap is achieved by casting an available spell with one spell tool while switching to an unavailable spell at the same time, one frame later followed by a casting input from the other spell tool. Newly created freedom while spell swapping with this method asked for further exploration. The very same day, the author of many Dark Souls discoveries, Kabul, tested the use of the homeward spell via spell swap utilizing this method. He, however, sadly concluded that while it does not give the player the usual confirmation box during its cast, it achieves nothing besides it. He also noted that one day, homeward would be the god spell, but it was not that day. And he was right, it was the next day. The very next morning, Kamul surprised everyone with an early Christmas gift, 
He found a way to combine the homeward spell and the newly discovered spell swap to achieve a wrong warp. So how does this work exactly? When using Homeward normally, notice how the animation of the spell cast does not end until you are warped. This ensures nothing can interfere with the already ongoing warping script. Spell swapping Homeward from a spell with a significantly shorter recovery animation, such as Fireball, allows the player to perform actions for a few frames immediately before the warp finishes and the load screen appears. It had already been known that switching your last bonfire during the loading screen after warping back to a different one would result in wrong warps, but until now there had been no way to achieve this legitimately. While the exact details are unfortunately unknown, swapping the player's last bonfire after they had already started warping to the original one somehow causes the game to lose track of the coordinates it needs to warp the player to while the area of the destination stays intact. The game might have several positions it could load for a warp to a specific bonfire. Let's use the Undead Parish one as an example. Upon warping to it from another bonfire, the player is spawned near the stairs leading to Undeadburg. While using a Homeward Bone to return, puts the player behind the bonfire facing Sun's Fortress. I believe the game loses track of this target position during the wrong warp and as such defaults to using the failsafe coordinates which are arbitrarily set by the developers. Fortunately for us, the wrong warp with the biggest potential works, as the default position for the Firelink Altar area is behind the gate in the kiln of the first flame. As a quick side note, the same glitch works in the remastered version as well, but the method of execution differs slightly. The warp activated by spell swapping homeward executes too fast for the recovery of any spell in the game not allowing the speedrunners to rest at a bonfire before the loading screen appears. As such, a different way of interrupting the animation is needed. While falling after casting Homeward interrupts the cast completely, including the warp, getting a so-called vacuum slope effect interrupts the casting animation but not the warp itself, giving the runners just enough time to rest before the warp is executed. The Homeward Wrong Warp has implications for several categories, but any percent is the one enjoying the heftiest time save. The general plan for the run remains the same. Obtain the Lord Vessel, open the Firelink Altar and place the Vessel, perform the Wrong Warp to Kiln and kill Gwyn. It is within this last step where all the time save is coming from. Performing the PCC Warp required the runners to enter the DLC, which is a lengthy process including killing the Dark Root base in Hydra, and visiting the Duke's archives. That was a really weird fucking head cut. For a bit I thought I actually cut the wrong head. Like I needed to go really far left otherwise I would have been hit. Furthermore, they had to reach the battle of Stoicism which required defeating two extra bosses. With the Homeward Wrong Warp, the entire final section of the Anipusen run is cut out and the only thing needed to do after opening the following altar is to have a chat with Petrus in Farling Shrine and buy a Talisman and Homeward. The time save of utilizing Homeward instead of the PCC is about 8.5 minutes and immediately upon discovery, the any percent times got quickly improved as several runners traded world record within a couple of days. I don't have time to move. Run. Let. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, insane world record. Inhuman.
<laughs> so 24. Uh, so 23, I guess. Let's go. Buggers. Woo, I did it. Oof. I mean, this wasn't that good of a run, but I'm still really happy that I was able to do it after such a long stream. I'm not gonna world record on the first attempt now. What are you guys doing, dude? What can I say? Like, come on. <laughs> Woo! Holy sh that's pretty bad, man. Yay! It's a 20! The world record currently stands at 21 minutes and 17 seconds. While these changes are very exciting, the short length of the current any% run requires the runners to rely heavily on RNG and does not offer much content, so I don't expect extreme amounts of activity near the top of the leaderboards as time goes by. But for now, any% enjoys great interest from runners of all skill levels, eager to try out the new glitch. The discovery of the Homeward Wrong Warp once again suggests that we still have plenty to learn about Dark Souls and its secrets. The future remains wide open. Thank you for watching.